And we're hearing reactions from people connected to Utah on the latest with Israel ordering people to take shelter. Our Jonathan May is live in Salt Lake City after hearing from a University of Utah professor who's in Jerusalem right now. Jonathan, tell us, what's he going through? Well, Sarah, University of Utah law professor Amos Gear arrived in Jerusalem yesterday after leaving Salt Lake City. Today, he spent the evening with his family in a bomb shelter. Even the White House had earlier today issued warning about an imminent threat. Giora took shelter for 20 minutes, hearing the air raid sirens. Depending on where you live, you have X seconds or X minutes, minute and a half. In our case, I think it's a minute or a minute and a half um, from wherever you are to get into shelter. And that's exactly what we did. And then the boom, I want to say the booms were really loud. Taking shelter with his son-in-law and two kids, one four-year-old, the other six months. His focus is just being grandpa. You bring out a ball and you play. You try to make, I don't want to say make it a game because it's hard because you hear the booms. I mean, you can't not hear the booms. I think the, the uh, primary obligation is to um, minimize anxiety. The attacks in Israel hit a lot closer to home for some in Utah. Utah Rabbi Avrami Zappel says the Jewish community is close globally. And every single Jew that you may know in any capacity knows someone who was in a bomb shelter in Israel this evening. We, we band together as a people, we strengthen our faith in God, and we remind ourselves in the words of Psalms that the guardian of Israel neither sleeps nor slumbers, and we hope for better days. Professors from BYU Jerusalem who coordinate Middle Eastern studies tell me students are no longer going to the Jerusalem center. We have no students there at present. We haven't had. Um, since the outbreak of the conflict, we haven't had students there. Um, you know, we have BYU-affiliated students um, doing some programs in Jordan. BYU-affiliated students were doing programs in Jordan last year. This year in Morocco, the university says it's all about keeping students safe, which they say they are. Sarah, back over to you. Jonathan, thank you very much. Here